Hello viewers. In this video, I'm going to explain how to draw a component bar chart in SPSS. So first of all, what do you mean by a component bar chart? A component bar chart, sometimes known as subdivided bar chart, it is actually constructed to show the division of the total into various parts or components. The bars are divided according to the size of each item and the total of all components represent the total length of each bar. Now I have a question here. In this scenario, we have created three variables. The first variable has been assigned a name year, which is of a string type. And the second variable is boys. Third variable is girls. Let's go to data view by pressing Ctrl T button from your keyboard simultaneously, you will jump into the data view of SPSS. So you can see here three variables are created, year, boys, and girls. So here we have four years, first, second, third, and fourth. So in first year class, we have 250 boys and 100 girls. Similarly, in the second year class, we have 200 boys and 180 girls and the likewise. Now I would like to plot a component bar chart for this information. In order to get the component bar chart, you will click on the tape graphs, go to legacy dialogs, click on bar and then choose the option of a state along with this option values of individual cases press define button you will have this dialog box now you have to move this variable with the label boys students to this box and then also the second variable girls student to the same box similarly i would like to select here variables rather than case number and then I will move this variable to this box. After that, I will click on the OK button because this is all we need to get a component bar chart. So after pressing the OK button, you will have this component bar chart in the statistics viewer window, where now you can easily interpret this information. So we have on the horizontal axis, first, second, third, and fourth year students. So you can see that there are 100 girls in the first year class and then the remaining shaded region of the component bar diagram the first bar shows the number of boys students so from the data view you can see that 250 boys and 100 girls are there in first year which is easily interpreted from the first bar likewise you can interpret rest of the bars if you click uh, this chart twice then you will see this chart editor and now if you want to show the number of students boys and girls on each bar then you will have to click on this button so after clicking this button you can see that the information appears you can change the color you can with you can change the width of each bar and so many other things you can perform after visiting this dialog box so I would invite you to go through this dialog box and then make some changes if you need. So I close this chart editor and then I have these numbers on the statistics viewer window. So this is a very simple way in order to obtain the component bar chart in SPSS. Thank you for watching.